Away to everyone, this is Regulus Pastor. Welcome back to Higurashi no Nakakoro ni. Um, continuing with Onikakushi Hem, the first story arc. Um, and um, last time, uh, we, um, we left off. Um, Lorena wanted to get the Colonel Sanders doll in the um, garbage, uh, in the landfill. And. Um, Keiichi heard vague implications that there may have been a murder and dismemberment in that area at some point, and when he asked Rena about it, uh, she kind of shrugged it off as if she didn't want to answer. So it's interesting. I think we're going to start seeing the horror element of this story play out pretty shortly. So let's continue. Um, let's start with the tips before we go right into chapter 3. Um, okay. The Maibara Manor. Uh, switching between the Japanese accent and the English accent is kind of hard. So, Kei-chan, you're not stinking rich? What is this song? What is this all of a sudden? Did I come to school in a limo before? How much do you get for a monthly allowance? Yeah. Uh, about ten dollars. My, that's a rather plebeian amount. Sorry, um, it, it always strikes me as funny when something Satoko says is translated as plebeian, because that does, that word would not be coming out of her mouth in English. Um, sort of a difference in connotation. What are they talking about? To be asked out of nowhere how much I get and then told that's a plebeian amount? Then I seemed to pick up on my dubious expression and started giggling. Um... So the architecture has people all around Hinamizawa gone in the Maebara Manor, and it sort of stands out. Maebara Manor? My father, man, since the house is so big, everybody's gossiping, wondering exactly how rich you are. Uh, I see. Now I get it. Well, the frame of it is huge. I see how it could cause some misunderstandings. From my deduction, I wagered they spent too much money on building the house, and that is why they're now broke! You snotty little brat. Being broke, how very, very unfortunate! Rika-chan took pity on me as she patted my head. I go from being treated like a millionaire to a beggar. あ、ショックなの楽しい想像を打ち壊すようで悪いな。うちは金持ちでも貧乏でもない。いや、いわめて平均的な普通の家庭だ。Yeah, sorry for ruining your imagination, but we aren't millionaires or poor. We're the image of a normal average household. あれだけ大きな家は普通とは言わないって。しかも玄関は立派で門は大型車も入れるようになってるし。I can call it whatever I want, Mew. Um, you can't call it normal with that huge house. The entrance way is all grand, and the gate is large enough for a large truck to get through. That's not normal at all! They do say the bigger your house, the more prosperous you are. The reason the house is so big is because Dad's studio is in it, too. 
there are a bunch of different workshops, and lots of his works are hung up in different places. All of them are huge, too. For those reasons, family actually uses only a third of the house for day-to-day -day living. He planned it out so people in cars can come in to see the gallery he opens up in the house someday. By the way, the entranceway Mion is talking about is the one for the studio, and is normally sealed off. The entranceway the Maibara family actually uses is a very plain and simple one. The interior is much different from how it looks on the outside. I'd really like a chance to explore Kei-chan's house. Claiming not to be rich, but having a home like that! Well, you're one to speak, Neil. Uh, although I won't give too much away right now. Uh, what could be hidden there? They probably had no money to purchase furniture, so it's filled with Spartan rooms. I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to mean, Spartan rooms. Never heard the term before in my life. <laughs> Sometime in the near future, it wouldn't be too bad to invite them all to my house. Dad is a sucker for the ladies, so he might even let them look around his studio. Um, I think Kate's dad is the one whose target's a little low aiming. The cry of the Higurashi crescendo, uh, crescendo as the sky towered over everything. It was hot, but the air was clear. It smelled like the beginning of summer. The Dam Site, Murder Dismemberment, Newspaper Edition. From the June 1979 edition. The Shishibome City, Okinomiya Police Station. あ、そりゃレナのツボだわな。あ、of course that's right up 
I understand her wanting to take home Satoko and Reika-chan, but I can't understand Colonel Sanders. What's so good about a four-eyed geezer? So, Rena, you can ask me to ask you. Um, fun, uh, fun story. When um, my sister and I were little, uh, I saw like there's a picture of Colonel Sanders in a KFC, and it listed his like birth year to death year, and so you know. Me being a little kid, just learning this fact, uh, soaking up all this information all the time, I just kind of parroted that that information. It's like he died, like oh, uh, Colonel Sanders died this year, and then my sister was absolutely stricken. She was heartbroken that Colonel Sanders died. She was crying in the KFC. <laughs> uh, uh, when Cage said, who cares about that four-eyed geezer, it reminded me of that, because apparently my sister cared a whole lot. Um, anyway. Probably better to hear from Lena, don't you think? She'll probably just say, because it's just so cute, though. Um, uh, we will find out the information as to why Lena wants it in a later arc. Well, that is, if Steam, you know, actually puts those arcs up for sale um because right now that arc is in order um and the arcs after that so um either we'll have to get really creative with that or buy from another source or wait until steam feels like uploading those arcs Lena wa yoku asoko koji genba no toko e takara sagashi ni iku no ka does Lena often go to the construction site to hunt for treasure ちょくちょく見に行くって言ってましたでさ。Every Damn construction. It had been bugging me since yesterday, like an itch I couldn't scratch. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know, Lucas. Um, yeah, let, let's, um, let's fix that. Oh, wait. Everyone gathered together and fought against it. Hearing an ominous word like fought come from Rika-chan's mouth startled me. So, so. That's right. It was unbelievable. Hinamizawa ga maru goto damuko ni shizumu koto ni ippou teki ni natte sa. They said Hinamizawa would be sunk into the reservoir and we had no say in the matter. So uh, I'm only able to be here because the protest succeeded. Nice. Gomenne, uh, gomenne. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Matase chatta kono, kono. I didn't keep you, did I? Did I? Moshiwaki arimase wa ne, Keitsan. O kesho naushi ni jikan o kake chaimashite. My deepest apologies, Keitsan. Satoko. Satoko. Benjo ni wa tamete kara ike. Wait to use the can until you really have to go. Ikki ni dasete. Raku de hayai zo. It's a lot easier since it shoots right out. Da, hana mo hajira otome ni nante kuchi no kiki kata? How dare you speak that way to a maiden of unparalleled beauty such as myself? Because you're a snotty little brat, that's why. Satoko. Who is she calling a maiden? 
if Satoko really was a maiden, she wouldn't have reacted like that. The usual hijinks ensued. Sateto. Now then. Gentlemen, in accordance with the rules of our society, I bring a point to discussion. He, wishes to be included as a member in our activities. What say you? I present you the honor of being allowed to take the entrance exam for our club. Uh, start from the beginning. I didn't say I would join. What club is this? Uh, what I, that club does, in order to comp cope with our complicated society, we perform various activities under different sets of rules. Sometimes they're in your favor. And sometimes they work against you. I'm pretty weak, so I prefer Vita and single me out. Let's try to get along. Lena-san is not naive, Lena. The law of the jungle is survival of the fittest. This was starting to sound a bit sketchy. So what kind of club was it? Tsumari. Mika-chan was the only one to answer my question with a pertinent response. So basically this club put Mion's hobby of collecting games to use. By playing the various games that Mion had ordered every day, it seemed that depending on the day there were prizes for the winner or a penalty for the person who finished in last place. I'll make this clear right now. We aren't playing house here. You should treat each win or loss as if your life depends on it, alright? Uh, what's wrong with just having fun? Don't make it sound so crazy. The first rule of our society. Aim only for first place. Going at it half-butted just because it's a game is not allowed. Rule number two of our society. For that reason, you are obligated to make all possible efforts. Satoko said it is sounding like she was saying use any means necessary. Of course, I will do my best too. Lena is weak, but I'm trying my best. I'm pretty weak, but I'm trying my best. I knew what they were trying to say. In a game where everybody is aiming for the top, it's rather unsportsmanlike to play just for fun. Alright, then I too will go all out! But with that, I was finally ready for the rite of initiation. My baptism into the club. Kei-chan, 
レナも結構えげつないからねレナ can get pretty nasty This initiation looks like it's going to be rough Milm began fishing around in the student lockers in the back of the room They have the games here at the school? Well, it's club equipment so I guess that's fine 難しいゲームはケイちゃんだけに不利だからね。今日は誰にでもわかるゲームにしよう。スタンダードにトランプの。ジジ抜きはどう<音楽>よし、受けてやるぜ Let's do this. やっぱり罰ゲームがないと思えないよね今回はビリに顔面落書きの件どう Draw on our faces with permanent marker? That is perfect! Satoko cheered the idea of one. She didn't even flinch at the thought of such a severe penalty. It seemed like she was raring to go. If it's gonna be like this, then I can't lose either. You know, just cut the deck and start dealing. Bachelor is pretty much the same as old maid. There's only one difference. There's no Joker. Now, keep this in mind because this will become important much, much later on by the time you've already forgotten about it. In its place, one card is pulled out at the start, meaning there will be one card without a match left over at the end. You don't know which card will end up being the Joker. It's a pretty thrilling game. じゃあ、一枚抜くね。I'll take the card out now. レナ took out one card and left it face down on the table. Everybody stared at the card intently. ま、終盤になればおのずとわかるし。Well, it'll be pretty obvious in end game. 最初はどうしようもないよな。No way to tell at the start. But the rest of them were very serious. They didn't seem as relaxed as I was. They compared their cards to the one face down, all the while gauging each other's reactions. It was as if they could see what the face down card was. No, it couldn't be. This deck is pretty worn out. 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 Can everyone tell by the scratches what the card on the table is? Remember the second rule of our society? Kate さんも勝つために最善の努力をなさいませ Kate さん must try his hardest to win as well いくつかのカードは特徴的だから Kate くんにもすぐ覚えられるよ A number of cards are quite unique Kate くんは be able to remember them pretty quickly She said that so matter of factly ちょ、上等だぜ Suits me fine. この程度でハンデになると思うなよ Don't think a little thing like that can be your crutch. I lashed out angrily, but it was rather obvious I was at a disadvantage. After all, they'd gone so far as to memorize the wear and tear for each individual card. This wasn't a simple game of old bachelor. If this was a test, then they were playing with the answer sheet in front of them. Bring it. I'll take advantage of your carelessness and beat you at your own game. That baseless confidence would soon be crushed. Kay-chan's hand is on the right side. How about I tell you your hand starting from the right? Three, four, five, jack, queen. Seven, three, four, nine, jack, queen. Gah! 
ちなみにジジはダイヤの J なのですどうカードを入れ替えたって見え見えですわ上がりですな I thought I was prepared, but for it to be this brutal, just overwhelming. Onida, Koizra, Onida, Demons, you're all demons. Lena, what? Onija, Nayona. Lena, you're not a demon, are you? Come in, Nicky. Weren't to be trifled with. An alumnus of this club would definitely survive in the cruelest of situations. If our entire class had self detonating collars strapped to their necks and were dropped into a death match, that's a battle royale reference right there. <laughs> For anyone who hasn't seen Battle Royale, watch it. It is an amazing movie. If our entire class had self detonating collars strapped to their necks and were dropped into a death match on a deserted island, these guys would probably take to it like fish to water. I can already picture the joys they hunt down each of their classmates. Point is a point system. It's the lowest point system. The order itself dictates the points. Whoever has the most point total wins. Okay, let's see. The order itself dictates the points. Whoever has the most point total wins. Then, Keiichi is a bully, so five points. Since Keiichi is last, he has five points. There's already five marked down on my scoreboard. Yeah, yeah, buddy, sir. Clean the trump, and you don't have to be a good player. I think it's unfair to Cage. We don't use a new deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cage is a man after all. It's fine. It's fine. Cage is a man after all. Sexist. This kind of game will be fun to lose, right? He can turn the tables even if the odds are stacked against him, right? Kimmy, who's a one? Get out! The tears of the mackerel are the best thing in the whole world, right? It's fitting for lonely peasants to scamper home and suck their pepo and tears, don't you think? A petite hand laid itself on top of my head, which was trembling from uncontainable frustration. It was Rika Charles. Keep on fighting, yeah. Thanks to Rika-chan's words of encouragement, I was able to calm down. You need to be calm, especially when you're cornered. That's the power I could muster during this crisis. Think clearly, my Barakage. Take your time and look at the cards carefully. It's just as Rena said. Several of the cards have their own distinct markings, making them stand out. Memorizing them should be pretty simple. Think about what you can do in this situation. Try everything in your power to improve your chances of victory. Wow, you're a good guy, Keiichi. That's the voice. Huh? Big Keiichi, just like that. I covered the uniquely marked cards with my hands, or other cards, arranging them in such a way that they couldn't be seen. The cards that were broken were five. The ripped corner should be five. I know. I couldn't let any of those precious hints slip by me. All information is a weapon. Then it was my turn. Satoko found out her cards for me. The seven is seven. You see, I want the seven. This one. 
Is it this one? さーてどうかしら I wonder about that. 聞いてみないとわかりませんことよ。でも、なるなし、テイケ。There's a bit of dismay in her expression. Like she doesn't want it taken. That kind of expression. I won't let that momentary l a p s slip by me. 見えた I know! これだ It's this one! You got it! Seven of spades? A cheer of. Ooh! rang out. なな、なんですって<笑> What is this? な、なナは一番わかりにくいはずですのに Seven should be the hardest one of all to apply! It wasn't for memorizing markings. The slight changes in their expressions as I was selecting a card were enough. ほら、ケイちゃん隠さない Can't hide it from me, ケイちゃんこの傷が確かダイヤの二だったよね。This mark means it's the two of diamonds. あれ、あ、ま。She was startled by her own misread. Of course, everyone else was too. おお、みーちゃんがカード間違えるなんて珍しいね。わあ、it's rare that みーちゃん gets a card wrong. ち、違う。あ、no。ケイちゃん。あんた、まさかケイちゃん、could it be? You! They told them apart by different remarks. That mark was a nail scratch. So, I put a new one on it. ダイヤの2を偽装したというですの Are you saying he disguised it as the two of diamonds? あ、味な真似をするでございますわ Having defeated the forerunner Ma- Having defeated the forerunner m u l my brilliant battle left me ecstatic. But by total points, it was already set in stone that m u l would win and I would finish last. I laughed haughtily, selecting the tone of my voice carefully to get on m u l s nerves. Ma, Billy was a good one, but the last one was a good one. I'm going to end up the loser, but I'm satisfying with. One upping m e a l at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That should be the proverbial slap in the face to m e a l who was at the top already and ensured victory. Kono Kai, Karini Kei Chan got it chakuni nak demo. Total bidding a cocktail するんだけど Yeah, the show. Even if Kei Chan gets first place this round, he'll still end up last place overall. Don't you hate that? Ah, t a r i m a d a Of course I do! Let's have a duel! One chance! One chance! I'm going to go to the next one! I'm going to go to the next one! I'm going to go to the next one! It keeps happening. If you win, then we'll swap first and last place! How about it? You up for it? She fell for it. A chance for an upset that wouldn't be possible without goading her into it. This was an e n d i n It's interesting.、Uh, this last chance, this all or nothing thing, wasn't in the anime. One chance, you say. One chance, you say. Let me hear the rules. m i l n discarded two cards from her hand and replaced one with the Joker card that was on the table.、Uh, then shuffled in resulting, the resulting hand behind her back. Two cards from her hand and replaced one with the Joker. Okay. Um. 右手のカードと左手のカード。The card in my right or the card in my left? どっちがジョーカーか当てたら、ケイちゃんの勝ち。If ケイちゃん can guess which hand the Joker's in, then he wins! 今後ろに回したとき、ジョーカーを抜いたってことはないだろうな。
when he turned around just now, you didn't pull out the Joker, did you? Kei-chan ga make tara, hantai no te no card mo koukai suru yo. If you lose, I'll show the card in the other hand. Sore nara ok de shou. Is that ok? The other three gulped nervously at this unexpected turn of events. Yosh! Alright! No te ru! You got it! Neon grasped one card in each hand and thrust them out at me. First, I needed to expect them closely. The card on the right had no distinguishing marks. I couldn't tell which one it was. Which one, I wonder? Keiichi-kun, be careful! Ah, of course. This is Yeah, of course. This is my chance for a big comeback. Looking closely at the card on the left, I saw a little wear. It was it wasn't one I had seen or it wasn't one I had seen before. I, they messed this up a little bit. Or it wasn't one I hadn't seen before. Never mind. That was my mistake. Uh, that card is I didn't let that bit from Satoko slip by me. Neon clucked her tongue. I didn't recognize the mark on the left card from the small number that I had memorized. I didn't know what the left card was, but I could tell from Satoko's reaction that the card had already appeared during the game. Since it had already appeared before, it meant that it definitely wasn't the Joker. Hmm. Kei-chan thinks it's the one on the right. Will you choose that one then? Migi. Will you? Really, she repeated the word right. Uh, the left card definitely wasn't the Joker. If I could trust that theory, then I should have been able to declare if the card to the right was the Joker. Even without me on taunting, the one on the right was the most suspicious. But wasn't it a bit too rash to decide based solely on Satoko's reaction? More carefully... Ah! I remember now. That mark. The left card. No doubt about it. The Seven of Clubs! It's the seven of clubs, I see. I've won! The card on the left was the seven of clubs. So that meant the card on the right was... the Joker. And then, just before my hand touched the right card, I froze. <laughs> I would expect no less from you. There was a wave of murmurs amongst the onlookers at my sudden halt, right before I confirmed the right card was the Joker. Huh? Uh huh? Kate, what are you talking about? What could Kate possibly be saying? Look, the right. I mean, the left one is. Is that right? Huh? The right one is the Joker. えー。ケイちゃんはどうして右がジョーカーじゃないって確信できるの？What makes you so certain that the right one isn't the Joker, Kei-chan? Neon let loose an unexpected question. Everyone else is baffled. 右のカードが何かは俺にもわからないさ。I don't know what the card on the right could be. だが、左のカードがクローバーの七だってことだけはわかる。but I know that this one on the left is a seven of clubs. Yeah. Then. Doesn't that leave the right one as the Joker? Kanaratsu One of them has to be the Joker, right? Ah. Yeah. Sayu no dochika ni Joker ga aru no wa honto daro na. One of those is the Joker, right? Keiichi wa kanga ii desu. Keiichi has good intuition. Oh? Oh? Riko-chan, sore te douyu? Riko-chan, what do you mean by... Tsumari sa. So, basically... Clover no nana wa... The seven of clubs. Sakki ore ga... Satoko no spade no nana to awase te seta kaado nan da yo! I discarded that by matching it with Satoko's Seven of Spades earlier. Everyone 
everyone's attention snapped to the discard pile at the same time. The truth of the matter couldn't be discerned from that sloppy pile. So that means... Mion pocketed one of the discarded cards and lined it over the left card. And that means... I see! I get it! This left card is being disguised as the Seven of Clubs, right? It was the first time since the start of the match that Shadow ran across Mion's expression, and I didn't let that slip by. Then, with a grand flourish, I declared it loudly. Joker is the left one. It was an intense moment. That one second felt like an eternity for everyone there. Breaking that silence, the first one to speak was Mion. Shodai Bujou to shite, atashi mo samazama na playing o mite kita kedo. Being the first president of this club, I've been witness to a variety of performances. Kei-chan. Kei-chan. Anta wa. Best. The best. Best of the best of the best. The best of the best of the best. That was probably the greatest compliment Mion could give. Mion accepted her defeat, dropping cards from both hands. My comeback victory! Arika chan placed her hand on my head and began petting it, congratulating me on my victory. Rena and Satoko gaped up at us, as if they had seen a ghost. Why, Rena? I don't think I'm going to be a ghost. What is it, Rena? It's not if I cheated or something, right? This was fair and square. Rika doesn't have to throw my hand at the end of the day. Rika only pats someone on the head to console them. Huh? What's the meaning? At that moment, Rena let out a small shriek. Keiichiko! Kuna koto te! This is how it was! Keiichan nara sa! You know, you know Keiichan? Koko made yonde kureru. I thought you'd read into it that far. <laughs> Everyone froze. No, it was just me. Take that. It was a gamble. Kei-chan was the first one of the Hayato Chiri. It was a gamble. If you had just jumped to conclusions like a little brat, then I would have lost. It was the answer everyone was certain about. Mion picked up the card from the losing hand. Kei-chan, you know, you should take pride in this loss. She turned it around. That was the card that proclaimed the victor of this duel. The card under the seven of clubs. Unbelievable. It was the two of diamonds. It, it was a setup behind the setup. If I just picked the right one without reading so deeply into it. Gucho. Sonozaki Mion no nani oite? I, Mion, Sonozaki Mion, as the club president. Maebara Keiichi. Do accept. Anta no wagabu e no yubu o. Kyoka suru! Maebara Keiichi's membership into our club! As I slumped to my knees, dazed, everybody let out a round of applause for the excellent effort I gave despite my defeat. Kore ni te ketchek! The match is now over! Today's victor is me, Sonozaki Mion, and our exalted loser is Maibara Keiichi! Everyone made a commotion, applauding cheerfully. I thought I was bested, but I was so soundly beaten that it unexpectedly felt rather refreshing. Mion 
let me tap with that little trick behind her back. I got excited thinking she's going to do it again. Kate-san ga seikai ni hureru chokusen de tomatta toki ni wa kakatta te omoimashita wa? When Kate-san stopped a moment before touching the correct card, I thought he fell for it. He fell for it quite handily. Uh, hey, wait. All of them knew from the start and still got so excited so earnestly. Everyone got excited to make it more fun. You oh my god, Onita! You all, you're demons, you monsters! Sate, Kei-chan is a game, right? Now then, Kei-chan, it's time for your penalty. Today is the first day of the school. Since it's your first day participating, soft on it, right? I'll go easy, okay? いきなり登校拒否になられちゃ困るし。It would be a problem if you refused to come to school. Now in the anime, this is actually translated. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to turn you into a recluse from the very beginning. Now would I? The other three remember. The other three members held down my arms and shoulders firmly. Mio approached, licking her lips. <laughs> Her right hand went to pull something out of her pocket. That's a felt tip marker. That's a giant permanent one. Sate, iku yo. Okay, here we go. She took the cap off the marker and brought it slowly up to my face while I was immobilized. Yeah, 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 man. I let out my death throes. Kind of convenient. I used my lip balm for the permanent marker because <laughs> I needed to uh, moisturize my lips anyway. As soon as the club activities were finished, Rena flew off. Probably so she could dig out that cute Colonel Sanders that she wasn't able to take home yesterday. So today it was just me and me walking home together. A rather rare occurrence. Takara no yama ka. A mountain of treasure, huh? Stete ru renchu mo, masaka Rena ni kansha sarete ru to wa yume ni mo omoa nai daro ne. The guys throwing it away probably never thought in their wildest dreams that Rena would be grateful to them. Mountain of Treasure, meaning that damn construction site from before. Ah, right. Milne would probably tell me. That murder by dismemberment that seemed to have happened there. Ah, so ko sa. Dam no kouji genba. Over there, you know, at that damn construction site. Nanka atta ndaro? Did something happen there? Mukashi. Long ago. So ria atta yo, tatakai ga. Something sure did. A grand battle. Suari komi yatta ri, demo yatta ri. There were sit-ins and demonstrations. It was a bit different from what I wanted to hear, but I decided I'd listen just the same. Zibun tachi no tochi ga damu ko ni shizubun da mon na. It was our land that was going to be sunk into the dam reservoir. Ori datte tatakau daro na. I would have fought as well, probably. Yakunin domo wa hontou ni ippo teki datta. The government guys were really adamant about it. Era so de ibatte ta. Acting all big and full of themselves. Since they figured it out, that they couldn't sell with money, they did a bunch of nasty stuff. Since they figured it out, that they couldn't sell with money, they did a bunch of nasty stuff. They were nasty people. Mion spoke excitedly, as if the whole thing was happening right in front of her. Well, you're lucky. 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 You're lucky.
村長や村の有力者たちがね、ほぼに陳情した。東京にも行ったし、いろんな政治家に根回しもした。そうしてるうちに計画は撤回されたんだよ。私たちの完全勝利だった。暴力沙汰とかにはならなかったのか障害事件とか殺人。なかった。なに。She promptly cut me off. The same as Rena had. Her words signaled the end of the discussion. Tomitake san said, One arm wasn't found in the incident. I thought that a murder by dismemberment had occurred, but I guess I was wrong. My curiosity unsated, I sighed dejectedly inside. じゃあね、また明日ね。Later. See you tomorrow. ケイちゃんそれ、うちに帰るまで消しちゃダメだからね。ケイちゃん、you can't watch the off until you get home. Got it? わかってるよ、消さねえよ。I got it, I won't. Mion held back her laughter while stealing glances at my face. I wonder what kind of nasty doodles they drew. Darn you, Mion. You shall rue this day. In the anime, I don't know if they're gonna show it here because I think this game doesn't even show Keiji's avatar. I could be mistaken, but、um, I think it was like they drew、um, like、um, eyeshadow and、uh, cat whiskers on him. In the anime, anyway.、Uh, if her rules are ever reversed, I'm gonna go all out. All over your face, so you won't be able to take it off, even with the scoring pad. Upon arriving home, I ran straight into my mom, embarrassing myself yet again. The mood I'd come home to was already on edge. It's not an uncommon thing in our family. Whenever dad can't come up with a good idea, it always ends up like this. He stops around the house with his arms crossed. Mom whispered it to my ear. おかえりケイチお父さん大変そうだからそっとしてあげてねまたアイデアに詰まったわけ今回は締め切りが重なったからねお父さん充電期間がないと大変だから。That's Painting's feed our entire family. If he runs out of ideas, then it's the end of the Maibaras. We've never gone hungry before. Could it be that my dad is a master painter? Yeah, no, 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 So it seems your dad wants to use this house as a motif. That's quite a bothersome motif. Keiichi, the house is a little bit of 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 a There's still some time before dinner. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go I said I was going to take a walk, but I didn't have any particular destination in mind. I just need to kill some time. I got on my bike and pondered where to go. I could just go read at the bookstore, but it would take about an hour by bike to get to town. It would be dark by the time I got back, so I didn't want to go unless I had to. The roads at night here in Hinamizawa creep me out. If 
Mion or Celtico ever found out about that. I smiled wryly. Oh yeah. Lena was probably still at the Mountain of Treasure, the dam construction site. The excavation of Colonel Sanders was probably taking her a while. It wouldn't be so bad to have her owe me one. She might return the favor next time we have club activities. With a little bit of self-interest in mind, I set off towards the dam construction site. Tomitake-san might be there as well. The only person with information about the incident that both Rena and Mion denied knowing anything about. If I met him again, I'd like to ask for more details. To ask, was it really a dismemberment here in Hinamizawa? That was my real intention. spotted Lena struggling up on the slope of the garbage pile. It looked like Colonel Sanders was lodged in there pretty firmly. It didn't look like Lena would be able to excavate him by herself. Realizing that Tomitake-san wasn't around, I began climbing down the slope unsteadily. Yo, Lena! Hey, Lena! Seiが出ますな! Looks like you're working up a sweat. Oh, oh, Keichiko! Oh. あ、あ、ケイチ君。どうしたのこんなところへ。あ、マイプリンシーとアプライサイクです。アプライサイクですか。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
there's a chain on the Colonel Sanders at the store. <laughs> like she actually thought this out. She actually considered the possibility of taking that one home with her. This one though, I should be able to take this one home. If Lana give up, gave up on this Colonel Randy, or Colonel Sanders, darn it. She'll probably start devising a plan to steal the one in front of the store. You see, why I can't bring myself to say Colonel Randy is that in the anime they just call him Kentaku. Kenta being both a Japanese guy's name and short for Kentucky Fried Chicken. So I'm totally unused to this Colonel Randy crap, so I'm just gonna say Colonel Sanders. Sue me, KFC. As Lana's guardian, I won't allow her to sully her hands with crime. Out of the way. I'll do it. Lorena blushed again, but this time I left it alone. The pile was enormous. Also, the more days we wasted, the more likely another illegal dumping would occur. If it got buried any deeper, there would be nothing that could be done. You just get in the way, so stay back. <laughs> Pulling out scraps, bending them, tossing them aside, I quickly became covered in sweat and dust. Flying objects drew beautiful arcs across the twilight sky, one after another. Lumber, timber, Plywood. Darn it. No matter how much I threw out, there's still more. Even though I could see Colonel Sanders right there. After grandstanding like that in front of Rena, I felt frantic because of how little I progressed. If I was going to do this seriously, I'd need an axe or saw or something. That's enough, Kate Kun. You're so sweaty. You don't have to try so hard. I'm just doing it for you, Lena. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Lena began sputtering and turned beet red. Uh, oh, whoops. I meant to say I was trying to trying my best so as to keep her from becoming a criminal. Oh well. Sasugani QK I guess I just need a break. Koitsa Tegoise This is pretty tough. I sprawled on my back over the grassy slope. Kumene Kumene so sorry, so sorry. You're covered in sweat. This translation, though, it makes her seem really like low-key creepy to notice the detail. Like he's covered in sweat. Like you wouldn't say that to somebody in English, you know? Like, you're covered in your bodily fluids. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't put it past Lorena to be that perfect, but <laughs> you don't say it. Lorena patted her handkerchief against my forehead. It felt pretty nice. Uh, 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 well, wait here a minute, okay? Wait, 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 Leaving the handkerchief on my forehead, Rena took off running. The cries of the Higurashi gently cooled the air. After I was certain that Rena was gone, I picked myself up and headed towards what I'd discovered earlier. That was a garbage pile of magazines and newspapers bound up in twine. Unless I'm mistaken, I believe it was around here. There it was. They were bound stacks of not-so-reputable tabloids. They were stacked chronologically, going back quite a few years. It was quite a disturbing incident. They still haven't found one of the arms. If 
it was just as tomitake san said, uh, then undoubtedly there would be mention of the murder. There, these are troubled times. There is no end to these sickening incidents. There's a large part of society drawn in by these incidents as well. So it had to be recorded. Somewhere. I unfastened the packages and opened the rain-soaked pages carefully, looking over the table of contents. Not here. Next one. Not here. Next one. It was hard to search since I didn't know when it happened. I didn't know who the perpetrator or the victim was either. I only knew what had happened here. I looked up every so often, checking to see if Rena had come back or not. I wouldn't want her to see me gawking in a dirty magazine, but it wasn't just that. Both Rena and Mio said they didn't know. But it had happened, without a doubt. As long as tomitake san was in line. And then if both Rena and Mio... Uh, yeah, there was. If they had just said that, then I wouldn't have gotten so hung up on it. An incident that neither Rena nor Mio wished to talk about trying to uncover it after they tried to conceal it out of good intentions. That made me feel like I was acting against my friends. Hinamizawa Dam Worker Lynching. Murder by Dismemberment. Here it is. The featured article was in the back, and it seemed that there was a photograph in the colored pages at the front. The pages of the featured article were stuck together and were easy to open. Rena could return at any moment. Feeling rushed, I gave up and opened the photograph page. The police investigators were carrying a body bag, and newspaper reporters were all bathing it in camera flashes. The image was blurry and hard to understand, but I could definitely make out the headlines. A tragic nightmare at the Hinamizawa construction site. Lynching and murder and dismemberment. The victim was the site foreman. He had assaulted his assailants daily with... An explosive backlash from his daily actions? That's a horrible image, to see the site foreman as... It happened. It really did happen. It seemed the details were on the next page. I turned the page without pausing. On it was... The assailants butchered the victim's body with hatchets and pickaxes, then used an axe to split the cadaver into six pieces. The head arms, legs, and torso. I could understand just from the headline that it was just too terrible an incident. Normally a lynching is just assault and murder, right? Dismemberment with hatchets and pickaxes? That wasn't a lynching. It was a merciless killing to the letter. A brutal murder done by a group of people with hatchets, with pickaxes. With a hatchet. ないと壊せそうにない。doesn't look like, doesn't look 
Why do you look so glum? Tomorrow we'll be digging out Colonel Randy, right? So da yo ne. You're right. Haya ku Randy kun wo mochikari shitai. I really want to take Colonel Sanders home soon. Oh. Looks like we have another instance to use the sound command for. Okay. We both knew that it was useless to apologize any more than that. I quenched my thirst with the barley tea Rena brought and wiped off the sweat that had now gone cold. We took the path to head home. I felt quite guilty about the tabloid wrapped up in my jacket. You have received new tips. The Hinamizawa Dam Project. Special Tabloid Report. Oh, got an achievement. Uh, let's save first. Because I've had a game crash on me before when loading the Steam Overlay to see what the achievement is. So, uh, let's see. One man's trash. Help Rena find her treasure. Okay. So, I'm going to call it here for tonight. Um, uh, it's, um, it's getting going now. Um, so, uh, let's see. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited uh, um, for stuff to get rolling, because it's kind of been in exposition sort of mode for... Like up until now, now it's in the rising actions part of the narrative, and it's gonna get really interesting from here. Um, uh, you know, I had said before, um, Higurashi is sort of comparable to Silent Hill and Doki Doki Literature Club in some ways, so we're gonna see some deliverance on those parts of it that are similar. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited. And I'm glad to be reading the visual novels, finally, because I love the anime adaptation. Um, uh, but a guy caught here, uh, because my voice has been giving out, and I'm surprised it's lasted this long. Um, but, um, yeah, it's been fun. Um, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. And as always, if you like what you see, please feel free to click like, comment, follow, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Any feedback you can give me at all will help me tailor my future content towards your interests. I'm Regulus Passer, and until next time, Wale!